for for those people who know um, who've been watching my call the last two months um, on the third Saturday of the month I've been doing about different type of questions um, and I'm going to continue that tonight so tonight's going to be kind of the continuation I actually kind of went through a phone call that I did with someone. And so this is a really, really good. I don't know if you guys do this or not. And I do this from time to time. And I actually um, just renewed my um, app to where you could record a call. It's called tape a call. And so essentially what I like to do is be able to go back and listen to the conversation. Um, I hadn't done that for a while. And so what I like to do is what it's interesting to go and listen to yourself as far as your tonality, you know, what you're asking, the things people are saying that you perhaps might be missing. And so that's what I actually did. I went back to this conversation of somebody that I went and made a phone call to her regarding to show the business. And it's interesting that I kind of wanted to kind of put myself on spotlight and to show areas that if I could change the conversation, would I have said anything differently? Because obviously it's all about growing yourself, improving, becoming the best that you can possibly be, sharpening your skill set so you could master this game of network marketing, right? Because if you master it and you, you can make a lot of money in this industry, we know. And so that's all you got to do is learn the conversation. But how do you know the conversation if you're not actually listening to how you sound? Because you might think you sound a certain way. I don't know if you've ever experienced that in a relationship or somebody you know, brother, sister, friend, or whatever, and you said something and they say something back and you said, I didn't say that, or that's not what I meant, right? But we have these conversations with people because we know what we mean and we think we say what we mean, but sometimes somebody receives it differently. So unless you are able to go back, rewind, listen, you can pick up so much more. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go through a conversation that I had with a gal that I, uh, my husband actually met with her sister. And then through that conversation, we found out that this gal um, was interested. Um, I won't say her name just, just because, I mean, I'm not sure anybody will know, but I'm trying to omit certain things and so forth because the conversation is going to be on here and so forth. So what I'm going to do through this, this, this training call tonight is I'm going to break the conversation up. So you're going to hear it in pieces. And what I'm going to do through this breaking it up is what you're going to hear is piece by piece what I would have possibly said differently. OK, maybe you guys can kind of go play this game with me and kind of say, oh, you know what? Maybe she should have asked this. Maybe she should have said that. Right. OK, so we're going to do that. Let me go ahead and share my screen and hopefully I get this right. So, again, unless you've been watching my other training um, trainings that I did the last the third Saturday of last month and the one before that, this might not make sense to you. So I would recommend you go back. Um, to the library and go watch that training that I did on the third Saturday of last month, as well as the other one, where I actually talk about these type of questions um, to ask. So the first one is called connecting questions. And so this is what I do initially. So I'm going to play this conversation. We're going to listen to that together and the, the connecting questions. See if you can catch the connecting questions for those who actually um, had the the flashcards, because I went through flashcards through PowerPoint with the people last Saturday to show you the questions to ask, okay? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, this is Rose. <laughs> how uh -huh. are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing amazing. <laughs> yeah, so my husband told me, I guess he met with your sister, um, Whitney? Yeah, and she brought me up. I think he just asked what I was up to, and I um, had actually just recently left my job. Oh, no. And he, he gave, like, a very basis of what you had done, and it was a lot of just helping others. Uh -huh. um, and then she was just like, you should check it out because that's kind of what you want. Yeah. So well, I was, let me get a little bit more information then. Yeah. So so you're still looking, it sounds like. Are you still looking for something then? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was kind of like prioritized remote almost or just something really flexible because I do kind of want to travel uh -huh. right now. So that's um, what I've been like more focusing on trying to find something remote. But I think since COVID, it's just been like very like a lot more competitive. So finding something yeah. remote and um, decent pay is a little bit hard. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, so it sounds like you're looking to basically like supplements. You're not looking for something extra. It's just more like something like full time type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of. All right. So sorry, you guys, if you hear my dogs barking in the background, we have like a major thunderstorm right now, I think going on right now, but sounds really loud out there. So the dogs are barking. So, so yeah. Okay. So did you guys catch that where she said, yeah, kind of. When I asked about the part-time or full-time, she goes, yeah, kind of. So what could I have asked? I could have asked, kind of? Or what did you mean when you said, kind of? Right, the idea is to, to, the idea is to find the pain, right? We're trying to find people's pain. And so expanding what someone says or means to say is absolutely essential. So again, it's about asking questions to find out what's really going on in someone's life. Also, she mentioned looking for remote, right? She said it was a little challenging after COVID and all that. So I could have asked, what kind of remote work are you looking for, right? So these are just some things that I, again, you know, looking back, what could I said differently to get more expand on her to find out her pain points, okay? So that was, that was part of the conversation. That was the connecting question. Now let's listen to a situation question that I went into and then what I might've changed there. Okay. And so what were you doing before? You said something about that, you know, you, you left your other job. What was it that you were doing that you were, you said you like helping people. Was that what you were doing when you were at your other job? So I was actually doing medical assisting for a little bit under a year. Um, before that, I was working just like in the hospital as a administ uh, the, like a front desk almost administration. Uh -huh. um, I was originally like going towards my physician assistant. Oh, nice. Uh, degree. Yes. And then I kind of went through something and then was like, I need to step away from this health field for a little bit because it just, I, I think there were still things I was trying to figure out. So I needed the time away from it to see if it was something I really wanted. All right. So did you guys pick up on anything you could have asked right there? She said there were things I was still trying to figure out. So what could I have asked? Just curious. Were you able to figure those things out you mentioned? right? Because then she probably would have expanded more. Or were you able to discover if the job was something you really wanted? Because she had mentioned that about really if she wanted to find out this is something she really wanted, right? So again, these are questions that we can ask. They're open-ended. The idea is to kind of get people to talk a little bit more to figure out what their pain point is, right? Okay, so let's listen to the, the next question, which would be problem awareness question that I asked. And you guys, if my if, if my power goes out, I apologize. I'm sorry if I if this call just ends or my light just flashed on and off, so I might be losing power. And if that happens, you know what happened. If everything shuts down, you know my power just shut off. Okay, so problem awareness question. Let's listen to that one. So what was it that you enjoyed about your job? It sounds like just dealing with people or what was it that kind of attracted you when you were working there at your job? Um, so that was one of the things that I had like been thinking about the last few months. Um, it's always been interacting with people. Like even with the jobs I had in college, I did a lot of serving and like customer service stuff. I've always enjoyed just like interacting with people. And then specifically for the medical assisting job, um, I did scribing for both the nurse practitioner and the doctor. Mm -hmm. And I think I just like the idea or like I like the process of like, figuring out how to help a, like help the problem or like if they're having a problem figuring that out mm -hmm. and then I I also just like the thought process it was like in, it was more just like enjoying like seeing how the thought process happened and like connecting things and just like being able to find I don't know like find a solution I'm still like trying to figure out exactly what it was that I I like really I did enjoy that job mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. were just other things that were like also kind of bothering me and I just needed to like see Right. If stepping away would be like something that I missed about it. Okay. So she mentioned something about other things that were bothering her. Did you guys catch that? So what could I have asked? Bothering you? Just something like that. Just to get like that's called a, actually a probing question. So that way I can get more to figure out what's really going on. What's the pain point? Because remember, a lot of people are going to stay surface, 
They're going to stay up here. How do you get down here to the real pain? And remember, most times people don't even know what their pain is. Now, to be great, you're going to, you will find that pain. But how do you find that pain unless you ask questions without, and, and for me personally listening to this, I would definitely say I would not want to sound so interrogative. <laughs> and I feel like I was kind of that way. So I need to change that. It, ha it needs to be more conversational where it's just like matter of fact, like we're just flow, things are flowing into the conversation, right? Okay, so now let's listen to the next um, question, which is the two truth questions, which is usually it's a surface. And then the second question, we'll get to the bottom of it because people are very surface. Let's, let's listen to how I asked that. Was there anything else that you would um, change about the job besides obviously traveling more? Was there anything else that you would change about it? Um, specifically like that job or just in general, like. Yeah, that job that you were, were last at. Um, oh, I don't know. I haven't thought of that. I think. I don't think there was anything I would have changed about it. It it wasn't bad. I I really think mentally I was just not in the right space. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's what kind of got me a little bit stuck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little self, maybe a little self-discovery going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. We all, I think everybody has to go through that at one point in time, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what do you think is um, at this point kind of stopped you from getting what you're you're looking for? It's, it's really just been my own fear, to be honest. Um, I think I was just kind of stuck and I was like a little bit mad that I left the job mm -hmm. and like didn't continue it. But I think I just I I felt better not being there for a little bit. Um, and so now like I just barely started like being more aggressive about trying to apply for more specific jobs that I want. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, and then, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. <laughs> I want you to finish. And your then time. I was just enjoying the time, like being with my family and like Aww. getting to watch some of my nephews grow up before mm. I leave and like not have that much time anymore right. or not have that time anymore. Yeah. Like if you start traveling and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what did, what did I miss there? <laughs> I asked, is there anything you would have changed, right? And she said, not really. She mentioned that she wouldn't change anything, but she did say it wasn't bad, is what, I don't know if you guys caught that. What I could have said, what could have made it great? Okay, because sometimes when people say, no, I'm happy, you know, oh, yeah, no, I love my job. Oh, well, great. You know, well, is there anything that would make it better? You know, I mean, I mean, you know, something like that. If there's anything you could change, would you? She also mentioned mentally not being in the right space. I could have asked, so do you feel you are in a better place mentally today? Kind of see where she's at mentally, because if she's not mentally there, it might be difficult in this business, right? Because we know a lot of it is mindset, okay? So, um, okay, so the next one is solution awareness question. Let's listen as I uh, go through that one. Yeah. So, so before, how long has it been? So before we talked, was, were you kind of out there, you know, aggressively looking for something to change that situation or? Um, no. So I left the job, um, just about the end of February. Okay. And okay. I spent about the two, like maybe the month or two, like really just doing that self-discovery for a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, um, helping my sister a lot because that was just about when she had her second child so I was helping her out and then um I would say probably within the last month or so so just April was when I really started like applying for more jobs I um had started talking to some people seeing what they would suggest for me I should start doing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay all right now, I don't, know if, I don't know if you caught that either, but she mentioned she started talking to people to see what they suggest she start doing. So I could have asked, you mentioned asking people what you should do is that is what other people, I, I messed that up, but what other people think of what you do important to you, something like that, right? The idea, because she had said something about that, 
Okay. So that was kind of uh, something that I caught later on again. And really all it is, is listening. Do you like, are we really listening to people? Are we listen to respond, which I think a lot of us do, right? We're listening to respond versus really listening to what people say. Okay. So let's listen to the qualifying uh, question. Now, qualifying question can be used a few times during the conversation. So qualifying to see, do they even qualify, right? Is this something that would even be right for them? Okay. Now, let me let me ask you this, um, Ashley. Have you ever thought about like kind of being your own boss and, and entrepreneur minded, like working for yourself? So I have. Um, that also kind of has been like one of those dreams behind everything. Like I've always kind of wanted that. Um, where I'm at right now is that I'm struggling to figure out what it is that I want to specifically focus on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I haven't really told a lot of people about this one, but like I was going to start, try to start streaming cause I started talking to some of my friends and they stream it. And it's like, I always thought it was just like a good side gig. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. so I was like, maybe that's like a good start for it to be something like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, like that is kind of like a bigger goal because I feel like once um, once I am in that position to like do that, mm -hmm. then I'll really be able to become like tra traffic, like be able to travel more yes. if I was doing more entrepreneur and like business focused stuff. Right. Now you said the streaming, is that what you said? Like for online yeah. streaming? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like online streaming, like gaming, I like was trying to slowly get into it. Right now, that's, that's kind of what I was doing even um, before I had, or like right before, right after I had quit, mm -hmm. um, my friend had like helped me start that. Oh, got it. And yeah. that's been like very slow. Like I've been very slow because it's just me trying to get comfortable with it again. Yes, I understand that transition, you know, <laughs> yeah. from working a lot to not and then figuring out, now, okay, what am I going to do, right? Now, she had said on her own entrepreneur, I hadn't said anything about entrepreneur. Did you catch that? Now, in the past, I would have probably went straight into, oh, entrepreneur, you know what I mean? And then start talking about the business, right? Because well, this business is entrepreneur. You have to have, you know, this is starting your own business, being your own boss, all that other stuff. But realistically, like I said, now knowing about like learning more about what their pain point is, which I still haven't really got through, I don't feel at through this conversation is that, you know, you can't always just write, go in it. You see something like a green light. Oh, great. I should start talking about the business because she said she wants to work for herself. You know, she wants to make extra money. She wants to be an entrepreneur. She wants to start her own business. So then right away we think, oh, right away. And then we go into pitch mode, right? And we, that's, we don't want to do that. We want to take our time and find out their pain point, right? Because that is your leverage. So let's see what she mentioned. Um, she kind of wanted that. I could have asked, what do you mean when you said you kind of wanted that? That's a probing question. Or what do you enjoy about gaming? She mentioned she's doing gaming, her friends helping her set up with that. What do you enjoy about the gaming? Find out more about what her likes are, her interests are, right? Now, the next Question, solution awareness question. This is continued from before. This is just another question I asked her. So so what do you see or how do you see the benefits of you actually, you know, solving your current problems right now as far as, you know, finding what you're looking for, being able to travel? How, how do you see the benefits of that? I think a lot of it just is growing and like getting to a lot of my goals and like aspirations that I had been wanting for such a long time mm -hmm. but never really focused on um that was like one of the big things was just like now I'm like really needing or like really wanting to do things that I want to do mm -hmm. and like create create something that I'll be happy with within the next like five ten years yeah that makes sense that makes sense time certainly flies by really fast <laughs> oh <know>? yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so ask what or how do you see the benefits of solving your problem? She mentioned creating something she'd be happy with. So I could have asked, what do you feel would make you happy? Right? Because again, I'm trying to hit in the member. We never, they never, people don't make decisions on logic. It's always emotion. So what you're trying to do is get into people's emotions to figure out their pain because people will only change in most cases because of pain. That's unfortunately the only thing that moves people is pain. 
It's usually when people are rock bottom, something really, really, you know, drives them. They lost everything or something happened in their life. They've got pay cut, whatever it is, it's a pain, right? And that's what will move, motivate people and move them forward. So next would be a consequence question. Again, this is, if this is new for you, go back and watch the third Saturday training of last month. I go through all this as far as the questions. Sometimes I would definitely, personally, I would even ask more of some of these questions um, because it's more, again, digging deep to find out. Because again, people are gonna stay up here unless we ask the right questions to bring down their, their walls. Because people are in most cases very guarded. Okay, so let's listen to the consequence question that I asked. Have you, have you, Ashley, have you considered the possible like ramifications if you don't do anything about your situation? Um, definitely. And I think that's when I really started being more like started needing to be more aggressive because I was like, I can't just sit here anymore. Um, like there's nothing, I'm not changing anything if I'm not actually doing or like being active about it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know that I would have added anything there because obviously she sounds like she's, she's aggressed, like she needs something now. She's, she made, she made that point. Right. So here's another qualifying question that I asked right after that. And, and so how, how important would you say it is to change um, the situation then for you right now? Um, It's pretty much my only focus right now. It's just trying to like, get into a position where I'm like actually making good income can start changing like my debts and everything mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then, um be like just build from it that's like pretty much what I'm focusing on other than like helping out my family right okay all right so after asking how important was it for her to change her situation I didn't catch that until I listened again was she mentioned debts right so I could have I could have curiously asked debts you know or you mentioned debts what did you mean by debts right because again that's probably a pain point for her right how would we know that i don't a lot of times we assume things you hear somebody say something you you just think in your mind this is what they meant but unless you find out you ask you ask a question and do it curiously like you're concerned debts like you're curious or concerned you know debts you know, you say it like that, but even if you're on the phone with them or you're um, doing a Zoom, right? Because that will translate through the conversation, okay? So then finally, I moved on to qualifying to transition questions. Okay, so how would you feel if you, Ashley, could work from home, um, being able to travel, um through the training you know being trained every step of the way with the 30-year uh, proven system how would that feel to to find something like that i i think that's very um i think that's almost what i need mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah okay um okay well i would be interested in it specifically because if you if it is like a remote at home and there's good training i think those were some things that i to look for especially since I um, I feel like I'm moving from such a different area of focus that I was in that not that I like need the training but I wouldn't mind having it just in case right right well it is definitely Ashley is definitely entrepreneur minded it is about you being your own boss I will I will tell you that so okay. but based on what you told me I believe that the this the information that um, we have as far as the business it's an international we travel um, we go all over the, we're international obviously 27 different countries um, and we have um, training like I said so ha kind of like lock arms training so you don't do anything by yourself but you have that flexibility that it sounds like you're looking for as well and then okay. self you you mentioned about a lot about like self discovery so i will tell you that through the process of you being an entrepreneur owning your own business you will find out a lot about yourself sometimes it could be a stepping stone to something uh further and greater and had you not explored outside your comfort zone is where usually the best things are located you know so yeah so what i would love to do ashley um i could sit down with you and uh, you're are you local are you with
Okay, so basically from that point on, we schedule a we scheduled an appointment in person because she's local. So that is, um, let me do this. Let me stop sharing. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, put my conversation on blast. I think that you guys, that would be a great tool for you guys to do is to record yourself, whether another phone or um, your tablet or whatever. I have that app that I can do. And so, and I actually was wanting to do a, a couple of calls and just let you guys listen to them. And everybody I called today literally didn't answer or the voice messages or they said call back later. So I was going to do another one, um, some more. I could literally call like 15, 20 people and they didn't answer. So that was fine because it gave me the opportunity to just break down this one conversation so we can pinpoint, like I said. And so I would recommend for you guys, if you want to perfect your conversations, um, because again, it's all about getting the pains that people don't even know most of the time, even know what they, even if they say they want to make extra money, we just, oh, they want to make extra money, right? But why? What for? Right. You know, what I mean, it's it's deeper. It's like you have to get so you have to keep digging, keep digging, keep digging without being like I feel sometimes I get very interrogative and I got to work on that. Right. But again, this is a leadership call. This is about us bettering ourselves and and helping each other out through the process. So yeah. with that being said, you guys, that was tonight's call. If you hadn't got the script that I went through about all those different questions and so forth. Um, I would definitely recommend go back to the last um, last month, the third Saturday where I went through all that. I think it was, the, it was the last month or the month before where I went through all that. And this is just kind of in, in you know conclusion with that. So hope you guys have a great Saturday. Go out, get um, grow business and make things happen. Take care and God bless everyone.